Good morning, members of the media, and welcome to the final um, TTPS weekly briefing for 2017. Um, the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Stephen Williams, will address you on 2017 and on projections and looking forward to 2018. Commissioner Williams. Thank you very much, Ms. Lewis. Members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's an, always an honor and a privilege for me to have this course with the, with the media, especially at the end of a working year. This press briefing is the final one before Christmas, and uh, I think it is obligatory for me to, to say a special thank you for the work done by the media throughout the year. Um, in my viewpoint, we've had um, very fair reporting We've carried the necessary stories um, out there for the public, and uh, we are very appreciative of that. We look forward to your continued support and cooperation as we go into 2018. Uh, I would also want to say a special thank you to the members of the public who have provided extensive support uh, to the police service uh, throughout the year in our effort to address crime and criminality across uh, the Twin Islands, state of Trinidad and Tobago. We've received support from citizens, individuals, and we've received support from numerous um, groupings and agencies, and for that, we are ever thankful. When we reflect on, on year 2017, um, it's a year for which we have a lot to say thank you and a lot by which we can commend our officers for their levels of performance. Even though we have faced some challenges with violent crimes in 2017, we've seen the officers uh, fulfill the mandate, mandate given to them um, by way of some clear initiatives. Um, one such initiative is about firearm seizure, and they've been out there working throughout the Twin Island State, and we've seen increases in firearm seizure in every single division uh, in Trinidad and Tobago, um, inclusive of Tobago as a division. Um, th that increase has been phenomenal, and we have recorded 1,014 firearm seizures to date. I, I want to repeat the number, 1,014 firearm seizures to date, um, is the highest um, annual total of firearm seizure uh, from my research in the English-speaking Caribbean. And that's the history of the English-speaking Caribbean. Um, Trinidad and Tobago recorded last year 765 firearm seizures. This year, 1,014 firearm seizures. Officers have been out there uh, relentless in their pursuit to get the guns off the street. Police service uh, is a primary agency for managing uh, matters on this land. Um, we have set about doing that to the best of our ability, and, and they have truly demonstrated um, that commitment, and they have been very successful. It hasn't been uh, limited to the effort of the police officers, even though we don't, um, uh, at this point in time, uh, understate the extent to which the officers would have worked but we did in fact receive extensive support from members of the public. And you'd have heard me over the last five years, I'm reaching out to the public to say, police service cannot do it alone. We need support, we need cooperation, we need togetherness, we need help. Um, in 2017, the public would have provided um, extensive support and we have been very successful. Um, that really means that just on the face of numbers, we have had a 32.5% increase in firearm seizure in 2017. So that, that's one area for which we are very appreciative. Um, but we are working on a continuous basis, and we will see in 2018 even a renewed effort to rid the streets of guns because 76% uh, of the murders which occurred in 2017 would have, been, uh, would have occurred with the use of firearm as the weapon of choice of those offenders. So, so there is a, a critical need 
for ridding the country of guns, and the police service has been on that mission in 2017 and will continue that mission in 2018. But it's not only about um, the firearms, it's about the roadways. And on the roadways, we have been out there. Um, again, we have received tremendous support from um, some of the stakeholders, such as Arrive Alive, um, as, a, as an agency in support of the effort for making the roadways of Trinidad and Tobago safe. And we have been pursuing um, issues of speed control on the roadways. And in that context, we have seen a, a, a further drop in road deaths. Um, at, at present, uh, there, have, there would have been 111 um, road deaths for 2017. Um, for us, 111 is too many. But compared to previous years, it's a 17-year low. Last year, it was a 16-year low. Um, this year, we have gone further down. Um, last year, at the end of the year, there were 135 road deaths. This year, there, there has been 111 road deaths, and we have a few days to go. We're doing everything possible to be on the roadways um, to make sure the place is safe, um, hoping that we do not record any more road deaths in 2017. But safety on the roadway is critical for us. And that safety, um, we have had a particular, I would call it almost a three-prong um, approach, including speed control, um, issues of uh, driving under the influence. And we look at driving under the influence both uh, by way of uh, a proactive means, um, going to events and locations and, and doing what we call voluntary breath testing where the citizen has the opportunity, even before entering his vehicle, uh, to be exposed to a test uh, to verify what is the level of um, alcohol uh, within his system. And in those circumstances, he can make that uh, responsible decision. I am over the limit. I will not drive. As against um, the, the form for which we look at, I describe as punitive. Um, breath testing, where you test somebody for prosecution purposes while they would have been driving on the roadway. Um, our major focus is about saving lives and the, and the safety of the citizens. So we found it as important to introduce uh, voluntary breath testing. So voluntary breath testing has been extensive in um, 2017, and our enforcement effort would have been extensive in 2014. Um, we would have in fact, by way of persons arrested for going over the, the limit, um, 2017, there would have been 691 um, number of tests carried out uh, for the purposes of detection, 19,427 tests. So the officers have been out there um, ensuring that the presence can impact driving behavior, and driving behavior includes um, driving under the influence of alcohol. And um, we have, in fact, been what I would describe as pretty successful in our effort. Um, we prefer that every single driver drive without um, the influence of alcohol on a system over the, um, uh, ex the established limit. Um, and that would place us in the best position. But if people take the chances to drive um, above that uh, limit, uh, then they shall understand that the police officers are out there, and they will catch them. Um, and that's where, what we, we are seeking to create a culture of driving where we have responsible driving. If you drink, don't drive. Um, and, and if you intend to drink, walk with a designated driver. Uh, and this is a season, Christmas season, where we all know in, in, in our country, there is a lot of merriment and there is a lot of drinking. And persons who are enjoying the Christmas um, period, please don't drink and drive. Um, that's our word of uh, encouragement to them. Um, as, we, as we look at performance generally, um, 2017, we have seen a, an increase in our detection rate. And it's obvious. Um, officers have been pushing and pushing and pushing 
um, to ensure that we can uh, solve the crimes that are, are reported. And we have seen a, a level of success in 2017. There has been an overall 31% detection rate in 2017, last year we recorded a 23% detection rate. In some of the divisions, we have had um, tremendous success. Southwestern Division is 60% detection rate um, to date for uh, Southwestern. Eastern Division, 53% detection rate. Southern Division, 40% detection rate. Tobago Division, 35% detection rate. Western Division, 32% detection rate. Those uh, five divisions would have um, surpassed the detection rate that we set as a target for the police service in 2017. We set a detection rate of 30%. And we have five divisions um, surpassing that, and we have four divisions um, which would not have met that. Um, Central Division, 26% detection rate. Northern Division, 25% detection rate. Northeastern Division, 22% detection rate. And the lowest detection rate among all nine divisions has been Port of Spain Division. Um, we, we average out to 31%. Um, those four divisions uh, that have not been up to the 30% the, 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 the detection rate that we set, um, we, we have been encouraging them to revisit how they are uh, policing and uh, um, seek further improvements as we step into the year uh, 2018. We have not yet set uh, a detection rate for 2018, but I can give you the assurance that annually we lift the, the level so that um, 2018 will be higher than a 30% detection rate. But we are at this point in time looking at all the targets that we are setting for uh, 2018 um, with a clear intention to further improve our general performance as an organization. Tran Tobago Police Service has reviewed um, our operating plan that we set for 2017, and we are in the final stage of um, publishing, preparing and publishing uh, our operating plan for 2018. Our operating plan is our guiding plan, which sig signals um, the key initiatives, actions, and, and the areas of focus for the Toronto Tobago Police Service in a given year. So 2018, we will publish in January our operating plan for 2018, and in that, we put it out in, in the public domain for the members of the public to be aware. We believe that um, operating with a level of transparency is the best way because um, through good governance, the public is supposed to know what you are planning to do, how you are approaching um, policing the, the, the Twin Island State, and even get feedback from the public with suggestions and recommendations how you can further improve. So at the end of the day, we have had what I would describe as a, a very good year in many areas. Um, one area for which we have been defied that level of success is in the area of violent crimes. We have revisited and we are planning um, some key adjustments which would allow us um, to gain the success that the country is looking forward to in the area of violent crime reduction in 2018. I thank you.